Hello, this is Jedi Master Daniel 96 and in today's video I'll be reviewing Star Wars Darth Bane Rule of Two by as this is the second book in the Darth Bane trilogy and its timeline placement is 1000 to 900 BBY. So it starts off in 1000 BBY and then has a time jump to 900 BBY. And pretty much, you know, in the beginning of this, there's like the aftermath of the Battle of Rusan, which happened in the previous book. And then, you know, Zana is Darth Bane's apprentice. Then there's an interesting part where Bane goes to find the tomb of Freed and Nad, which obviously, as I mentioned, the 10-year time jump where we see Zana growing up. Then Bane attempts to create his own holocron, but fails. Then we have some bits about the planet Sereno, with a Separatist kidnapping going on there. Then we have some stuff, you know, involving Ch uh, Chancellor Valorum, but it's not the Chancellor Valorum that we see in The Phantom Menace, because that Chancellor Valorum that we see in Episode 1 isn't born yet, so it's a different Chancellor Valorum, so found that kind of interesting there when I was reading that I was like wait what and then I then it was a different Valorum and I'm like oh that makes sense so a little tangent about that um Zana meets a man named Hetan Hetan has trained in the dark side and asked to become Zana's apprentice Hetan shows Zana Sith artifacts the assassin travels with Hetan and Zana to Ambria the assassins attack Bane and Hetan turns on Zana. Then we see Bane go to the planet Typhon, and which is interesting that we see Typhon in this. And for those who don't know, you know, like for non book readers that are watching this, you know, because Typhon appears in The Mandalorian, for those movie TV show only people, Typhon was a planet from the expanded universe so a little fun fact for you guys there and back to the review and after that you know when bane's on typhon he goes to find hetan's master's base on typhon zana goes to the jedi she disguises herself as a missing jedi she finds the information she needs davarit senses zana's true identity she goes to Typhon to warn Bane. Bane learns how to make a holocron successfully. Then gets interrupted when Zana and Daravit arrive. Sorry if I butchered that name. The Jedi ship arrives and they fight the Jedi on Typhon. Bane gets injured, but they kill the Jedi in the end. Zana takes Bane and Darvit to the planet Embria to look for the healer named Caleb. Caleb refuses to help at first and then helps them. A Jedi strike team arrive on Embria and discover a dismembered body at Caleb's camp. Zana hides herself and Bane in a shelter where the Jedi overlook and she has her Sith sorcery. Several days later, Bane wakes up. Zana informs that she killed Caleb and broke Darvit's mind. She also tells Bane she has much to learn. Bane admits he underestimated her and is proud of her. And that's a little rundown of what goes on in the book and my thoughts on it. I thought it was a good read, but I think Path of Destruction is a better book in my opinion, and that's just me. Um. Definitely I would recommend it, and definitely as you enjoyed Path of Destruction, definitely read this book. And that's pretty much all i got to say. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment what you think down below. Did you like this book, not like this book, were you indifferent, etc.? Let me know down below. And share this video and tell your friends to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at danrs87 on Instagram. See you guys next time with another video. And may the force be with you, and bye.